Now, one of the world's biggest cruise ships, the Queen Mary II, has begun a two-day visit to Scotland. The liner docked in Greenock this morning and it'll travel later to Oban. Our reporter, Laura Maxwell, is on board. Welcome to the Grand Lobby here on the Queen Mary II, which I'm sure you'll agree makes quite an impression. There are more than two and a half thousand passengers on board this cruise this evening. They're all preparing for dinner, which is always a formal affair. Luckily, though, most of them spent the day sampling the delights which Scotland has to offer them. Majestic and elegant, the Queen Mary II causes a sensation wherever she sails. And all 76,000 tons of her arrived in Greenock this morning. But for those on board, coming ashore is just as important as travelling in style. Well, we're going to Stirling Castle now, which is a place I've always wanted to go to. It's a very interesting, uh, you know, country. That's what I thought. Yeah, it's, uh, we've never been there, so that's why we come over. We're uh, looking for the whole experience. Uh, the highlands, we'd like to see that, and of course some of the old cities. And every passenger boosts the Scottish cruise ship industry, which this year will generate around 50 million pounds. Just over 100,000 visitors arrive here in Greenock, the first port in Scotland to hit that figure. We're the, the gateway really for Glasgow and Edinburgh. Uh, from that point of view, they base, some of the passengers are going half-day tours, Glasgow, Loch Lomond, Stirling. Uh, so really the wider area also benefits, not just Greenock. On board, life takes on a different pace. Built for the transatlantic crossing to New York, it offers opulence and comfort. Very high expectations from our guests uh, that we have to deliver, and obviously that has to be replicated ashore you know, when they, they use the facilities uh, in Greenock or anywhere else in the surrounding area. So, um, five-star product. As passengers prepare for this evening's entertainment, let's hope that Scotland has dazzled. And if you'd like to catch a glimpse of this beautiful ship before she leaves the Clyde, you'll have to be quick. There's a fireworks display this evening at 10 o'clock, and then the Queen Mary II sets sail for her next port of call, which is Oban. She'll arrive there tomorrow morning. Sally. Thanks very much, Laura. Later